What's up everybody? You're watching Model Aviator. My name's Adam and Miss Heidi and I just got back from taking a trip down to CEF. That is the Southeastern Electric Flight Festival. It's put on every year by Fayette Flyers, one of the great clubs that we belong to. It's a great event. It's a week-long event, I think, from Saturday to Saturday. It is truly, truly amazing. Everybody who's anybody shows up for it for the most part that does electric airplanes. One of the companies that's always there is Flex Innovations, and Flex does some really interesting stuff. Kike Somanzini and his crew really put out some interesting airplanes. Kike is a phenomenal designer, and we were taking a closer look at their latest design. That is the QQ Yak 55 10E Super Plug and Play. Uh, it's a 3D freestyle airplane, uh, super, super capable. Interesting thing about this airplane is it is 47 inches. It's the size airplane that you would normally see powered by 3S, some of the better ones on 4S. This one's actually powered by a small 6S pack. They have a low KV motor, larger prop. They're making a ton of power, getting a lot of flight time. It's a pretty interesting concept, and you hear a lot more of that in a detailed overview that Seth Arnold was nice enough to give us. Now, Seth is one of the senior product developers for Flex Innovations. He is also a three-time XFC world champion. What that means is this dude can fly freestyle RC aerobatics as good as anybody. Uh, he's a phenomenal pilot, super nice guy. I've known Seth for a long time. He's always been very gracious with his time. When these folks are working events like this, it's a sunup to sundown and into the night thing, especially for Flex Innovations, because they have night versions of most of their airplanes that glow in the dark, and you can literally fly in pitch black dark. It's a really, really cool company. Really appreciate Seth taking the time to give us this overview and then demo fly this thing for us. And boy, did Heidi nail the, the filming on this. It's not an easy airplane to film, but Seth's a very smooth, predictable pilot. They chatted a little bit beforehand, so she knew what to expect, and he knew how far out she needed him to be and things like that, and it just really worked out good, really clicked. So with that, uh, here is the forthcoming QQ Yak 55 10E Super Plug and Play from Flex Innovations. It is available for pre-order right now. I'm not sure exactly when they'll be getting here, but I think Seth tells you in this overview. So check this out. This is Seth Arnold giving you an overview of that new awesome airplane and then a demo flight by one of the best RC pilots on the planet. Check it out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. What's up everybody, Adam here with Model Aviator, and I'm here with Seth Arnold of Flex Innovations. And Seth, you got a new toy, why don't you tell us yeah, about it? Yeah, yeah, so this is the new QQ Yak 55 10E. This is the new one that Kike uh, designed and came out of the Flex Skunk Works, and uh, pretty cool and we're excited to have here at Seth. Um, so with this airplane, this airplane has a wingspan of 47 inches, uh, and the really cool thing with this is the power system we use in this. This is actually using a 6S uh, 1500 milliamp battery, and uh, the really cool benefit of that is over a uh, 3S2200 or comparable airplane, we get a lot longer flight time. And at the same time, we also get a lot more power. So that's kind of the heart and soul of this thing. But obviously, Yak-55 is a really cool airplane as well and great 3D performer. Uh, so we're just excited to show it and bring it out there. Everyone. That's awesome. Can you show us under the Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'll bring the hatch off here, but we got a large hatch for the battery and everything. So there's the uh, 6S1500 inside it. It includes our Aura 8 stabilization system. Uh, that is a really cool deal. It helps the airplane fly a lot better and uh, you know helps the out with the wind and different things like that. But the, the really cool parts, it never feels like it's in your way or bothering you when you're flying. Um, but with the with the, the core of this airplane, you can see that it has a plywood subframe inside instead of just being solid foam. That adds a lot of stiffness to the front of the airplane. Helps keep things pretty strong and rigid for all the crazy 3D stuff these guys are doing nowadays. We have the uh, shark tooth leading edge that helps uh, the stability in high alpha, so it creates little vortices when the airplane's flying in high alpha and gives you a little better aileron response and a little better stability. So kind of like vortex generation. Yeah, that's so. exactly what it is, but the nice okay. thing with these is when you're flying level flight, they're not up on top of the wing creating drag like a normal vortex generator, so they only work in high alpha, which is when you want it. That's impressive. So that's yeah. pretty cool. But uh, one of the other things is all of the servos that we have on this airplane um, are high voltage servos. Okay. So 
Uh, we have the DF-17 HV servos. The tail servos are mounted uh, back in the back of the airplane. But the speed control is actually running 7.4 volts instead of 5 or uh, 6 volts like most speed controls do. So the servos are a little faster, they get a little more torque, gives you better response on the controls, and this generally makes sense. the airplane make, fly, make it fly a lot better. Yeah, I've, I've made a habit, every every R5 build, I've, I've started putting high voltage servos for that reason, so that's, yep. a, that's a real plus. We've been doing it on the big giant scale stuff for a long time, and we, right. you know, doing this and doing some of the other airplanes, it's like, why not do it on this? It's really a big performance improvement, and you know, it doesn't really add any additional cost to it. So. We'll have this thing available uh, in June is when this okay. thing will come out. We have the pink color scheme that you see here, and then we also have a red and blue color scheme. So for the guys that don't like the pink, you can get the red and blue version, or uh, for the guys that want something a little bit different, we have the pink scheme here. Basically the same scheme, just different colors. I kind of like this. What's the price point getting? Yeah, so we have two versions. We have a night version and a day version. So the night version has lights inside the wings and fuselage, so you can fly it at night. Um, that one's around 380 and the day version is around 350 so depending on which way you want to go, if you want to fly at night, it's about 30 bucks different. That's pretty good. So. And you have a Potenza series of batteries that you sell for this? Yep, yep. So we have a Potenza 6S 1500 uh, 45C and a 6S 1800 45C that we fly in this pretty regularly. Um, the 1500 being a little bit lighter, a little better in the calm conditions, and the 1800 being a little better for the wind. But um, those are the kind of the two typical packs people will put in this, and we're just excited to add another one to our 6S lineup. That is cool. It's neat that it's a 55. Uh, everybody makes the 54s normally. Yep. I, I like the look of the 55 just because it's different. Yep. Yeah, it's it's one of those airplanes that really, uh, because of the small fuselage and everything, it tumbles well. It does a lot of the high energy flying of the today really well. And even though it's a smaller fuselage, it still tracks and flies very well too. You know, Kiki's got the Cyforce generators on, which help with the tracking and yaw authority and everything. And right. just a really good all around 3D airplane. That's cool. So pretty much in the middle where, where extra is on the edge of precision and edge is on the extra, uh, the, the end of 3D, this is pretty much kind of in the middle yeah, like a laser. Exa exactly. And, and that's the cool thing is, you know, you can go out and do some really crazy tumbling aerobatic, you know, XA style flying, or you can yeah. do some pretty, F3A style precision with it too, and it does excels really well at both. That's sweet. That's yeah. cool. Well, then uh, I guess the only thing left to do now is for you to show this thing off. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it.